Hey guys, this is Vic. I just got back from a little four day vacation. Got in last night at about midnight. Had to get up today for an 8 a.m. client. Had to go pick up Coda from the kennel. There's Coda. Uh, so needless to say, I've been hopping all day, trying to get ready for the week. But what's that leave out? It leaves out cooking. Not gonna happen. I was able to uh, carve out about 45 minutes to run to the grocery store and come back. But for the rest of the week, I'm not gonna have time to cook. So what do you do? I'm gonna show you what I do. Okay, this is going to be breakfast for the next few days. And this is pretty typical for what I eat for breakfast, actually. I don't really eat breakfast. I kind of graze all morning. So here we've got a bag of walnuts. And then we've just got some fruit, you know, apples and bananas right now. My gym's actually right across the street from a grocery store. So I usually pick up what I'm going to eat from the time I get to the gym until my first workout um, per day. So that's not really a big problem. I can uh, take 15 minutes and run across the street. Post-workout, at least for today... Got one of these little smoothies. Uh, I prefer chocolate milk, but the carbohydrate to protein ratio is pretty darn similar, and that's uh, three to one is what you're looking for for post-workout. After that, I'll go to lunch. I usually go home every day and take care of Coda at lunch so I can eat lunch at home. And what I usually eat is a salad. So here I've got some uh, baby spinach, some grape tomatoes, and some pre-cooked chicken. That's what this is right here, and that, that's kind of key. That's what's saving me the cooking time. Now normally I'd also have some green peppers, cucumbers, maybe some other vegetables, but I don't have time to prep it, so this is what I'm going to be eating this week. I do have some uh, balsamic vinaigrette pre-made that I'll be able to use, but the salad's going to be spinach, grape tomato, chicken. Afternoon snack, oh, you know I'm still getting my dark chocolate in, uh, and some green tea. That, old, that chocolate bar will last me all week, so I just have a little piece every day. And then in the evening while I'm teaching my classes at my gym, it's more fruit and nuts, and I have some of that in my office at the gym. And then when I get home at night, I usually get home about 9 o'clock at night. Then I have my final meal. And these are some of the options. Uh, tuna. But if I've got some of the chicken left over, I'll use that instead. I usually throw a little sliver, slivered almonds in there. And then I've got some vegetable choices. Uh, frozen green beans or the pre-cut broccoli. Now, this is the only time I really have to cook, but it's just microwave. Uh, so I throw it in the microwave, whether it's the green beans or the broccoli, because I hate uh, raw broccoli. And throw the tuna or the chicken on top, and that's it. Dinner is made. Maybe a little soy sauce. So that's it. That's kind of my emergency meal plan for the week, because I had no time whenever I got back from vacation. So you can always find time, find a way, at least, to eat healthy, even whenever you just get back from vacation. See ya.